What's up, everyone? You know what the time it is. It's your boy Norn Rad Eighty Nine here, and it's time to do the damn thing. Here to rank all the Psycho films against each other. We got five films. We're putting them in the cage. They're going against each other. We are gonna find out who comes out on top. And of course, this is just my list, my personal opinion. That means I would love to hear from all of you in the comments section. Share your list of your ranking for the Psycho franchise. So we have five films in the Psycho franchise, and let's get right to this bottom of the barrel, number five for me. This is, for me, just a mediocre film. This isn't a bad film, it's just a mediocre film, but it definitely pales in comparison to the other four on this list. That's going to be the Psycho remake coming in at number five. Yes, this is just basically a shot-for-shot -shot remake. It's a hollow experience. It's not really that, you know, entertaining. It's, you know, good because it's a story of the similar 1961. But like I said, it doesn't do anything different or anything unique enough to make it its own thing. Coming in at number four is going to be Psycho 3. This is one that is kind of just like a wild ride. It's definitely one I could appreciate because it's the most kind of 80s slasher vibe one. It goes for like balls to the wall. That third act is pretty wild. We got Dwayne Dukes in here. We got a sister nun character who tries to commit suicide at the beginning of the film. We got Norman Bates. We got this magazine reporter chick coming in to do this. So like I'm just rambling because that's how much shit is going on in this film. And that's the problem. There's just too much going on in this film. And all I really care about is Norman Bates and possibly like that nun, the lady who leaves the sisterhood. Like that, those are like the two best characters in this film. Everybody else is like, Mwah. but we do have a character in here that's from Friday the 13th, I believe, New Blood, who's in here. One of the ladies, she hooks up with Dwayne Dukes, so it was cool seeing her in a film. I was like, damn, I recognize her. Rolling in at number three is going to be Psycho 4, The Beginning. This is one that I really didn't expect to enjoy that much, and the fact that it's a made-for-TV film. And like I said, this film is really freaking good. And it's a different flavor, a different style from the previous three films. So that's what I enjoyed about it. And we still have Anthony Perkins gracing the role as Norman Bates. And this was his last outing. So it's just a fabulous film. And like I said, it has this cool nature to it. And it's different from the previous three films. And that's why I liked it. It's tense. It's good. The third act can kind of get a little bit like, oh, we're stretching time. Like, let's wrap it up. Let's wrap it up. But still a very solid watch. Now we're here at number two, the runner up to the top dog. And before we get down to that, if you haven't yet, drop a like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss a thing. Now the runner up to the crowning top dog. Once we tell you what this one is, you're going to know what's left. But Psycho, the original from 1960, is going to come in at number two. This is an all time classic. This is a badass film that laid down the template for so many other slashers and other horror movies for decades to come. And Alfred Hitchcock's directing, along with the fabulous cast, make this a freaking badass film that does stand the test of time, I can tell you right now. If you watch it nowadays, it still holds up to this day. But there is just one better than this film that did stuff that I enjoyed a little bit better. But still talking about Psycho 1960, yes, this is an all-time classic. I adore this film and I really like it. And after going through all these films and returning to the Psycho franchise, I can easily tell you I am having I have a better time with this franchise than the Scream franchise. I think these four films are very strong. That bottom fifth one is the mediocre one, the black sheep in the group. But the other four, all these four are very strong. Now let's move on to number one, the top dog. That's going to be Psycho 2, and I think Psycho 2, after watching all these films, Psycho 2 was a first-time watch for me, but I've watched it twice now, and it was the one that I easily wanted to return to right away again after watching it, and I think Psycho 2 is going to, in my opinion, hands down one of the best slasher or horror sequels out there for sure. It has no business being as good as it is being 22 years later after a 1960s Alfred Hitchcock classic. You know, and what we are bringing Anthony Perkins back as Norman Bates. We have Meg Tilly as Mary. We have a fabulous cast going on this film and a great story at the center with a struggling, like, antagonist, protagonist character. That's like, it makes it so much more three-dimensional. And by the time we get to that third act, we have two different twists that pop up in this movie that I did not see coming. Psycho 2 is a banger, easily my favorite out of the Psycho franchise. And like I said, watching this film for the first time and then after I finished all five of them, 
that was the one I wanted to return to the most and see and watch again right away was Psycho 2 because I was like, damn, it surprised me as it kept going. I was on the edge of my seat. I was like, what the fuck? I was like, what's happening next? Like, I am down for the ride. Let's go. And like I said, being 22 years, 22 years later from an all-time classic, like, what the it, it was, It was spectacular. It was amazing. Like I said, the four films in this franchise, these top four, all very strong films, seven and above films for me. It's just that fifth film, that bottom one, the Psycho remake, that's the mediocre Black Sheep and the crew. But that's about it. Like I said, this franchise is very strong. And if you haven't returned to the Psycho franchise recently, I highly recommend you do. Or if you haven't seen them at all, what are you doing? Go watch them, then breeze through my channel and check out all my reviews for the films. And then, psh, then you can have your ranking and you can drop it in the comment section. Thanks for sticking around with me, y'all, for this ranking video of all the Psycho films. As I said, let me know in the comment section what is your list, because I would love to hear from all of you, because we're all different, and that's the best thing about it. And have a safe and happy day, everyone. Peace out.